Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another House and Home show. Well, we're into the brand new month of June and halfway through the year. Time sure does fly, doesn't it? And I'm sure most of you are looking forward to this coming long weekend. On the show tonight, Chef Barry is back in the kitchen with a nutritious Zenag chicken Caesar salad. On the Cooking with Zenag segment, we join Dr. Anby on mental health. Max Noble joins us this evening on how to protect your bathroom from moles. Chef Teresa takes us through another fantastic recipe on GFI Baking with Flame segment, a banana cake slice, and we look forward to another great quality buy at Brian Bell. But for now, let's join Chef Barry on the Zenag segment as he takes us through step by step on making a nutritious Zenag chicken Caesar salad. Enjoy. Good my natural viewers, my chef very me come at the Narpla Genek cooking show on tonight. Now tonight by me working nutritious Genek chicken Caesar salad. Okay, this lemon plus salad, we by me using lettuce, and by me using Genek chicken breast, 700 grams straight back. Me said to some Genek chicken because it's meatier, tastier, and juicier. Okay, now recipe by me just cooking all chicken breast, by me cutting finish legally go some strips. Okay, now me at the frying pan, and frying pan you by me. Cooking on genetic chicken breast, we are now by mixing with our lettuce blame. Okay, by putting one tablespoon oil blame me. Can you go to side side so I'm going to buy oil like sin and buy fried penny heat up. All genetic chicken breast, I'm going to have a good price so you can go to the store close to you and kiss you one place shopping blame you. Now, to all genetic chicken breast, you can look at me, pull up all meat. You can use it in the soup or you can cut it in the water and you can cook it in the same way. You can cook it in the same way. Okay, now I'm going to put it in the frying pan. I'm going to put it in the same way. Chicken strips are going to go inside. Okay, I'm going to let it cook. I will cook them by the time I will cook them. I will cook them. You can look at the genetic chicken and pull up the meat stress because I will cook the premium cut of chicken breast. I will cook the chicken and cook the stuff by me. Any more lettuce go inside the bowl. Okay. Inside the bowl. Okay, we got spring onions. One tablespoon spring onion. Okay. Then we got one tablespoon mayonnaise. Maybe we mix in a little lemon juice for inside. Fresh lemon. Okay, a little oil to salt. One, one drop oil to salt. Okay, give a little flavor blow. Do like chicken seasoned salad blend. The garlic. One teaspoon garlic. Let me mix it one time. And we come up with a salad dressing blend. Okay, now you can look in. Nutritious genetic chicken Caesar salad blend will come up. Let me straight. Okay, now we can limon. Genetic chicken Caesar. Okay, now by me here this sample of little cocoa chips with me walking finish so time you make it and give it a crunchy flavor look. Nutritious genetic chicken cheese salad baby. Okay, all genetic chicken cheese is blaming and ready. Now by me put it straight, go inside low. The lettuce baby. Okay. Salad dressing, blame me. Let me add it one time. Okay, now blame me. Mix it one time. This is one of the nice plan. recipe where you can cook it for lunch, so you can cook it for dinner and enjoy with your family. Blame me. Okay, now I'm ready now. Let me put it on a plate. Okay, viewers. Nutritious genetic chicken Caesar salad, blame me. I'm ready. Let me use it. Okay, now blame me. Blame me with a little. Cocoa chips, blame me. So you can kiss it one plan and crunch it with them on genetic chicken. Blame you. 
Okay, okay viewers, you can look at nutritious Jinek chicken sushi salad. We are using Jinek chicken breast, 700 grams tray pack. Jinek chicken is because it's meaty, tasty, and juicy. Very healthy and nutritious indeed. Thank you, Chef Barry, and we look forward to another great Zenag recipe on the Cooking with Zenag segment. After the break, we join Dr. Ambi for the mental health segment. and welcome to another mental health segment with Dr. Ambi. Good evening, Dr. Ambi. Good evening, Irene. Viewers, a fortnight ago, we discussed how voters and candidates could better handle the election period and also maintain a sound mind. Tonight, we'll discuss the post-election effects on the mind. Doctor, to begin with, what are some effects on the mind post-election? Well, Irene, it, it is a very crucial uh, time for us to reflect and viewers, uh, I mean, important through like old Sam Irene talk, there are many effects. Mind, like we said, is an election fever, na voting, and we all something blow mind, eh? like yes. how now you choose him, mm -hmm. right candidate or one something, you make making pennies. So some of the effects, what happens, the candidates might go through. Mm -hmm. More, mainly candidates suffer and yes. then the voters the, if, if you have a cargo cult mentality that you have driven in that way, you can have an impact, a That's massive right. impact yes. on them. But let's concentrate on those uh, candidates who have lost. But I want to tell the candidates that we all have uh, been chosen by God to do something good for the nation. So if you lose, it doesn't mean that you have lost everything in life. So no. I want them to have a hope. But mainly the effects, Irene, one of the effects, you can have physical health problems. Yes. That means like non-communicable diseases like high blood pressure, uh, high blood sugar, mm -hmm. na kind kind problem where uh, the modern type of problem because of the stress. Yes. Because the time they've gone through enormous stress and the, all the chemicals in the bodies are working over time. And then you can be burnt out, yes. you can be very tired. And then you can see that effects goes to the mind. And now from the mind and the body are connected. Yes. So you will see most of them having a depression because the, after losing you feel, oh, me make him awesome, now how now me lose. Yes. This like kind of, and loss of, like loss of life. Mm -hmm. And then you can have anxiety and some blood time all minor mental health problems yes. which can interfere with their family life, their life and also their work. Mm -hmm. So it's important that we pick it up and seek help. Number three point, they can end up having alcohol and drug problem because all worry no good through. Now how now by lose thing thing low this la failure blong or all, all by taking low negative straight. Huh? Yes. So they end up having drug and alcohol problem. And I want to tell the candidates, that's not the way. You have to have a sportive. We are Papua New Guineans are very sportive. We've got the lovely families, we must go back. Number fourth point, social problems. And during the election, there's so much of social problems could have been created marital problems or girlfriend problems or kind kind social problems yes. low one toxic problems or kind kind problem by come up in time low you me low no can think thing low negative must change low positive we low sort him all this la problem narpla or same financial mm -hmm. when when you go for election we have to get some money you may mortgage your house you might sell your uh, land or kind kind way you know it all depends on the candidate yes. what's his intention what was his intention and then all these things have an impact on your mm. thoughts yes. and your mind while you're sitting while you're eating it's like a, a, a bereavement reaction it's like mm. a but it lasts four weeks to six weeks but you come up all right but if things are lasting more than four mm -hmm. to six weeks and you have mental health problem always seek for help because the country needs you and we got so many things to you finally it can all lead to legal problems mm -hmm. and this is all a uh, complexity because of one thing called stress that is bad stress yes. good stress oh yeah we work hard and we fight for election every energy goes on gone on yes. but 
when you sit down and there's no way to go, 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 now all the chemicals and we got bad effect on you. So it is important for us to be very, very smart and be s ensure that especially I would like to say the family members to be smart with thinking to support their husbands or wives who have mm -hmm. stood for election. Poor thing, we must be very much aware mm -hmm. that they stick out themselves to save the nation or do something to the nation. All, all decide law standing for this Lakain election. Mm -hmm. So the, even the family should support. You know, can ma Mary or man might turn him around, now you go blow him all get or something, now come, now you me make him one M. Yeah. You know, like in the last episode, yes. Irene, I think I told you mm -hmm. the most important, don't jeopardize the family because they are very, very important. Yes. In your sadness, in your all this complication, don't neglect them because they are very important for you. That's the nest you have created for you and God and the whole family. So it is very important for us to really ponder over and think there is bigger things for us. God will have many things for us to do. If you lose this, doesn't mean we have lost it all. It's not so the this, end of the yeah, world. yeah, yeah. So I want to reassure the people we have got bigger things to do. And if you go through any of these uh, problems, always ask for help. Don't walk away because it can interfere with your productivity, your day-to-day -day life, your family life, and all those things will be tighter towards the socio-economic development. Yes. So I'm simpler something me like talk Savilo or get a man Mary who's a stand for election and something you know come up, turn up right. We are that's again mental health. Yes. And then physical health, yes. And the voters are affected just as much, especially the supporting candidates. Yes, yes. 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 Because they also had their dreams mm -hmm. and they always felt their candidates are going to they are the answer to their hope yes. and their dream. Mm -hmm. And obviously the voters will be equally upset. But I'm sure the we have a beautiful system called one talk system. And let's nurture that system because that's where we can get our strength and and uh, that weakness can be mended to bring our strength higher up and magnified for us to be a greater leader in the future. Yes, yes. Thank you very much for that, Dr. Abhi. Do you have any parting comments for our viewers? Well, viewers, I always say, put God first, because God, Almighty God, who created us, who exactly knows how many hairs we got in our ha head. Mm -hmm. so. It's nothing is impossible to him. You have lost something now, doesn't mean you have lost the whole world. We got God with us. He has got more marvels and wonders to do for us and also to provide us. Stay in firm and your faith and be with God and attend your church, the good Bible-based church. You will be always the winner in the name of Christ. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Ambi, and we'll see you again for yet another interesting session. Thank you so much, Irene. Good night, viewers. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Exo Nobel segment. Now, tonight, I'm going to show you an easy way to protect your bathrooms from mold. Now, not only is mold unsightly, but it's also a health concern, particularly to those who suffer from asthma. One of the most common areas in which we find mold and mildew is the bathroom. And I've got my friend Bavine to help me get rid of the mold and make sure it doesn't come back. So, Bavine, what are we going to do to get rid of this mold in the bathroom? Well, Tidman, the first thing we have to do here is prep the surface. And with mold, we have to do it a bit differently. Bavine, I thought you would just wash the ceiling with sugar soap. That is why you have me here, Sidman. The sugar soap will not kill the mold spores. It may wash away the blackest marks, but the mold spores will still be there. So we need to clean it with a mix of bleach and water. That way it ensures that we kill the mold before we start painting. Now, how much bleach are you going to use? I mixed one part of bleach into four parts of water. Remember, bleach can be dangerous so you need to use protective gear such as gloves or safety glasses. So after that, we let it dry and then we can start painting? Tidman, always so eager. 
No. After we have washed the walls with water and bleach, we must then wash the walls down with clean water to clean away any film that may be left behind by the bleach and water. And then let it dry before we come back and paint. So what can we do to stop the mold from coming back? Ventilation always helps with preventing mold. Or you can use a paint that has anti-mold or antibacterial additive. Today we have used Tobin's Easy Coat with Microband. And Microband is? Microband is an antifungal and antibacterial additive that stops mold growth and also other nasties like E. coli and other germs. It is added into the paint at the manufacturing stage and will last the life of the coating. We are using a semi-gloss finish which is much, much better for wet areas as it is a washable finish. Sounds impressive. So, let's color. After the break, Chef Teresa makes a wonderful banana cake slice. Good evening viewers and thank you once again for joining me tonight's Plain Flower Baking segment. Well viewers, our recipe for tonight is banana cake. All right, here we have all the ingredients for tonight and the first ingredient is one teaspoon vanilla, one teaspoon bicarbonate soda, one tablespoon milk, two whole eggs, three medium-sized mashed banana, half cup soft butter, half cup custard sugar, one and a half cup flame self-raising flour. Firstly, first mix we will be doing is, um, as usual, butter and sugar, custard sugar, and I'm um, softened butter. Before you mix up your, um, start mixing your ingredients, make sure you have, um, your butter has to be softened so that you will mix together with the custard sugar. And then the ingredients will go into a very nice smooth paste. So make sure you soften up your butter before you start mixing up your ingredients. All right, now firstly we have said, mix them until it becomes soft until the mixture becomes into a nice smooth paste and then we'll mix all the ingredients together all right keep mixing all right now the ingredients or the custard sugar and butter has been mixed or turned into a smooth creamy texture creamy texture so now then we will add in the uh, whole eggs two whole eggs our two whole eggs. Beat them well after each addition of the egg. Keep whisking. Make sure the butter and the sugar mix properly into the to egg and all everything. The ingredients has to be mixed nicely and combined nicely. When you see the mixture is like this, keep mixing. Okay, now it's nicely mixed. We will add in the flame cell raising flour. One and a half cup. And our bicarbonate soda. One tablespoon milk. And the vanilla extract, one teaspoon. Mix them up again. Lastly, we'll add in the mashed bananas. Combine all the ingredients again. As I have said, make sure all your ingredients are combined nicely. 
All right, this is a banana cake. I have used flame celebrating flour. All right, now all the ingredients have been combined nicely. I will spread it up in the cake tin. Always put oil or wipe it with butter and then put your or bake your cake up. All right, now let's spread the banana cake ingredients in. I'll just spread it evenly like this. Level the top of the cake. All right, viewers, this is our banana cake. This is how you uh, mix up your ingredients and then how you spread them up nicely in the baking or cake tin. All right, viewers, our baking time for the banana cake is 180 degrees Celsius and you will bake it for 10 to 15 minutes. All right, viewers, this is our finished product for tonight. Banana cake. This is how your banana cake will look like after baking. So now just leave it as usual. Always leave it five minutes on the cake tin before removing. Okay. Okay, viewers, as you can see, our banana cake, the base of it, very nicely mixed, spongy looking. As you can see, the sponge is very nice. That's the reason why I use flame, flame flour. You can use any assorted flowers from the Goodman Fielders and you can, it can give you this um, very nice looking sponge. So that's the reason why I always say mix your ingredients properly before baking. This is our finished product for tonight, banana cake. I, I have used flame celebration flour to do the banana cake. All right, viewers, thank you for watching this program tonight. And we'll see you same time next week on House and Home, only on MTV. Stay with us as up next, it's more great quality buys at Brian Bell. Be. Good evening and welcome to another episode of House and Home, I'm Bill Neal. So it's that time of the year again, when New South Wales fans don the sky blue colours and Queenslanders parade in the victorious maroon. Origin time comes once a year and it is arguably one of the highest levels of competition in rugby league throughout the world. That's why it is perfect timing that Brian Bell is currently having a sale on its TV sets. We have various sharp and uh, Star Vision products that are currently at reduced prices. Tonight's episode is based on how Brian Bell can help you enjoy this origin time of the year. I'll highlight the television sets and a few of their features. I'll mention the different origin memorabilia that we have and touch on some of the origin related products that can make this time of the year a lot more enjoyable. We want to make it easy for the general public to watch the best competition of footy this year. If buying a TV for yourself was out of the budget last month, well I'm here to tell you that now you can. We have reduced the prices, and by reducing the prices, I mean the Sharp Aquos TV, which is, by the way, Sharp's latest product, is on the market and is now selling at bargain prices. The 40-inch Aquos was 3,789 kina. It's now just 3,165 kina. The 70-inch Aquos was 23,349, now selling at 18,995 kina. The 32-inch Aquos was 1,625 kina now it is just 1,495. The Aquos TV is Sharp's newest addition to their TV range. It is a LED backlit LCD TV consisting of Sharp's Quattron technology to create deeper blacks and bright vivid colors. It has a fine motion advanced panel. This reduces the blur. Take for example if you have made a video whilst moving. This technology will catch the recording and reduce the blur significantly. Sharp's UV2A technology on a full high definition X-Gen panel improves the contrast and resolution of a picture. This TV provides superb picture quality and excellent color reproduction on the big screen. The 60 inch Aquos has a 3D function and the smaller sizes such as the 32 inch or the 40 inch come with all the same technologies as its bigger models. Now moving on to the Star Vision television. 
These TVs may not have the technologies that are incorporated in making a sharp TV, but for a quick fix solution to your TV woes, you cannot, I repeat, cannot look past the prices that are currently being offered at Brian Bell. The 42 inch Star Vision was 2,999 kina. Now it's only 2,359. The 15 inch, which was 659 kina, is now 499 kina. Can you see now what I'm getting at? We've cut down our prices to make it easier for our customers to enjoy our nation's number one game on its biggest stage. So please take advantage of these low prices while stocks exist. Now that you have a TV to watch the game on, what other products could add to the atmosphere? Origin merchandise. How come I didn't think of that? Okay. Show your true colors like this bloke and represent your team this year with uh, Blues and Maroons merchandise. Here, check some out while I make like Michael Jackson and beat it. We have bar mats, scarves, small flags, large flags that are 90 by 150 centimeters, singlets, banners, socks, shorts, jerseys, t-shirts, polo shirts, badges, key tags, even beer mugs and stubby coolers. Don't forget our umbrellas. While we're on the topic of sporting apparel, this week we have just replenished our stock in our NRL team balls and NRL team hats. We also have your training in blues and maroons balls and the game ball, the steeding game ball. We have that on offer also. I mention this because as most of you know, uh, most teams are New South Wales or Queensland orientated. So if you want to kill two birds with one stone, then head down to Brian Bell as we have all your footy merchandise. We'll even pump the ball for you after you purchase it so that you can relive everything that you've seen on TV. Slater gets the ball step, palms, he's off, he's off. Head down to your nearest Brian Bell outlet and purchase some of the products that you've seen on tonight's episode. The TV sales is nationwide and there is high demand currently for the rugby balls. Remember, great products, great prices, that's Brian Bell. Right on, Mr. B. That's it for our House and Home show for this evening. Next week, Chef Teresa takes us through another fantastic recipe on GFI Baking with Flame segment, the chocolate orange cake. We also join Tidman and the Axo Noble team for another do-it-yourself with Tobman's and we look forward to another great quality buy at Brian Bell. It's the Queen's birthday long weekend this coming weekend with the public holiday on the Monday. Whatever it is that you've planned to do for the long weekend, do take care and may your weekend be a trouble-free one. Have a wonderful evening and we look forward to your company once again next week for another House and Home show. From the House and Home crew and I, it's good night. <laughs>